Okay, I mean, we, we, they, some were brought in, the, the, the potato, etc., were brought in from other countries, but we had other routes that were available then, and we learned how to use them. Um, uh, Ray, the Ray Mears section of the uh, videos and Excellent. stuff have some very good pointers, and it would be great to be able to use some of the things that are, are, were around vegetable wise to, to, to add to the flavours that we, we miss out now. And, and things like salt in the diet, for example. Um, most of the vegetables, most green vegetables, carry enough salt. The problem is that the body has got so used to additional salts that we crave them. So when they're not there, we want extra salt in our body. Once our body has, has been neutralized again and, and gone back to a, to a level, um, as, as soon as you start cutting, and ref, cutting out the refined salts and, 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 and start listening to your body and the vegetables that you're, you're eating, you taste the vegetables more, you taste the flavor in the vegetables, and that gives you your salts. It's, 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 uh, well, that, that, that's my, my opinions and the very blue spaces of my theories on, on, on diets in general, or on that side of diets. But I think if, if a, a good self, healthy moderation of, of food it is the best way. You over-proteinate, bodybuilders are stuck in this idea that you need masses and masses of protein to, to, to build muscle. You, yes, you do need protein and you do need complete proteins. You need to get your, your amino acid build-ups um, quite, uh, you, know, you, you need to get a good good balance of aminos with, within your diet, but you don't need to overcompensate by stuffing full of um, additional protein drinks and, and things like that to get your, your, your levels up. Everything that you buy in a packet is a supplement. It supplements your diet. You don't have to have the vitamins or the minerals. You should be able to get them from your fish or your, your from sorry from your vegetables and your, your fruits, your um, omega threes and sixes of, of, of oils. You can pick up from seeds, grains, um, and fish. Um, and you, if, if you have a balanced diet, then, then you, get, you should be getting enough fish to do that. It's the same as the old bodybuilders, the old strongmen. Um, eating pounds and pounds of steak and stuff. It wasn't so much for the protein that they needed this, it was for the creatine in it. They didn't know that at the time, so you, you're getting huge, big, rich steaks of meat when you were getting your five grams of, of, of creatine within, within one or two steaks during the day. Um, things like milk. Again, we were, we're not just looking at the protein content of milk, we're looking at the fat content of milk, and the fat content of milk is what the strong men actually used. And also the slow burning sugars. And the slow burning sugars, the lactose in there. And the difference being though with the milk, theirs wasn't processed no. as ours is. No. Um, you can, theirs were just raw. You can buy raw milk, but it's, again, it's, 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 it's an expensive luxury and, 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 and we miss out. But there's nothing wrong with we, 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 taking in you know, milk or cream. Um, I mean, the, the, the Vince Garanda's. Um, well, it's high fat diet. One, one of those things, exactly. Yeah. A, high, a high fat diet is a contradiction in terms, really, isn't it? Well, it is. It, but um, they worked. He, he, you went on the basic principle of that you needed fats to digest protein. Yeah. Because in nature, they come together. Yeah. I mean, I, I have friends that have looked at, when you talk about things like that, food combining diets and, 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 and things. And I, I think there's an extreme of these things. If you look at how people used to eat in the old days, you had the balance of the foods. The, the foods were digested the way they were, they, they were taken in, the way they were digested, just because of the nature of the way that people used to hunt and gather food. Um, if you look at the African uh, diet, which is largely um, pulses and grains, they have a very, path, very fast pass-through rate um, of, 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 of digestion. Um, whereas the average Western uh, is, is, is something around 16 hours or 18 hours to, from, from mouth to, to toilet. To toilet. Uh, thank you. Uh, um, the, 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 the African um, diet is, is, is somewhere between six and less than six hours. Okay, okay. Average. That's a big difference. Um, but that, 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 that is also a largely grains diet. Then there's also the problem that we have of a lack of fluids. Um, we, we, we know no one takes in anywhere near enough fluid. A lot of the overweight people are, are, are very underhydrated, mainly and, and 
when, when they feel hungry, what they're actually feeling is the thirst. They, 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 the dehydration is calling for them to have, have water. But um, a lot of them would argue the fact that, that they get the liquids in through well, but this is, they, 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 teas they, this is, and But this is the thing pops. that they do. They, they get their liquids in through eating a steak. And they get their liquids in through having a cup of tea with a biscuit. And they get their liquids in through having um, you know, a, a sponge cake, which is, is 50% or 30% water. Um, and fluids because of those things that's where they're getting their, their hydration from and, but it's uh, and, and fizzy pops and things like that um, but then again they're just in that sense they're actually they are taking in some fluids but because they're adding a food source to it especially a carbohydrate source but that, it's yeah. drawing water out it's, of the body that it needs to right. digest I mean, it and store the carbohydrates I mean, your, your average can of red bull contains more caffeine in it than, than the average coffee and, and stuff like that so you're taking in the amount of liquid that is in a, a can of red bull then you're taking out of that the sugar levels that you have, have in there and the caffeine which is a de, de, uh, um, diuretic it's a diuretic yeah, exactly so you're, you're 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 killing one and then taking it you're giving with one and taking it back straight away so you're looking at a uh, one step forward, two step exactly. back scenario. Exactly, with, 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 with most drinks like that. If you, if, even if people say, oh, but I drink the juices. Well, I, I drink a lot of fruit juice. I like fruit juice. Um, but it, 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 it's, it's the, the fiber in there, there's the fructose in there. It's again, it's a very high sugar based um, drink. And also high in potassium. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, but but with, with the sugars from that, I mean, it's fructose. Um, fructose breaks down differently in the body to other sugars as well so it, 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 it's not supplying the body the same way which is a, is a different part of it but going back to the hydration if, if the average they say you should be trying to get two liters of water a day but the average person should be probably near three three and a half liters of water a day if they're a moderate, moderately, moderately active person um, at one stage when I was in Portugal when we first went over there um, I went through a, a stage of drinking and making a point of drinking five litres of water a day. Um, it, would be, it was hard work in the start, and I was going to the loo a lot. Um, but after about the third day, um, I, I was definitely not going to the loo as much as, as I was when I started. I was still going regularly because the water has to still pass through the body. But um, I felt better from it, um, felt cleaner. Um, I certainly. Um, less affected by the, the overall heat in the country that um, at the time was about 30 degrees uh, Celsius most days um, and I was working out and training with clients that whole time um, and that five litres of water a day was, was, was quite necessary you know so it's um, it's another area that people should be looking at and thinking about whether they're in certainly in a, in a, a keto style diet that help that fluid will help you and stop you getting so bunged and, and stuff are you getting enough fats to 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 be um regular regular yes thank you i'm very regular but that's another thing at all you find that because sports people shall we say taking such large amounts of food especially protein the requirements for Fluid. Water are going to be even absolutely higher absolutely. by a long way, maybe even half as much as what regular Joe Blog yep. does. Yeah, half as much again, yeah. So, if Joe Blog is dehydrated, how many sports people out there are dehydrated? Certainly, the people that, that, that are not trained are not. If you look at the average um, football team now, they're all weighed pre training and they're all weighed after training to make sure, certainly when they're, they're training in. in in the higher climates, when they Portugal, when they had the Euro 2004 in Portugal, because it was that much hotter, they were very, very careful about fluid levels and, and hydration. So they were weighing people at the start of training and weighing people at the end of training. And if they didn't weigh the same or they didn't hydrate enough through that, they were fined because of the because they they, they knew that the hydration part of it was so important. So if, if you know, you should be thinking much more about hydration. If you feel hungry, drink some water. And then see whether or not you feel hungry you after. Hungry, exactly. And if you are hungry, then obviously have something to eat. Yeah. I mean, you, the average person knows roughly that they, they need to eat every few hours, with small amounts, um, just, to, just to maintain their, their, their blood sugar levels. Um, 
but you know, if, if you if you stay hydrated, if, when, you can see a lot of people in Portugal, particularly because it's a hot country, that don't drink enough water. When they come round to having lunch, are starving, and they 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 they, they eat with, without being rude, um, like pigs. You know, these, I don't mean that nasty, but they, they they're, they're ravenous. They stuff food down the throats, and the reason largely is that they are dehydrated. They feel so hungry that they need to eat. But what they're actually, what their body is saying is that I need to eat this meat because it's the only way you're going to give me the fluid that I need to survive. So if, if they, in, in nine, to, nine or ten out of, 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 of 50% of them at least are dehydrated and that's what they need the, the, the food for. Uh, I have a friend over there who doesn't train at all doesn't train at all, um, but he works in a very hot climate, in a very hot conditions, in, in, in inside um, big air conditioning units. On, a, on an average day during the summer, he will drink six or seven litres of water a day, just through dehydration, or just, just through the, the, the fact that he's dehydrated. And in, in some stages, you, you're, you're working out like that and you stop sweating. And you know, you, 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 if you stop sweating, your body can't cool down. And the reason for that is that he's dehydrated. So it, it's, um, and that's six litres of water. And it, it, this is a guy that weighs nine, nine and a half stone. Um, so we're looking at 130 to 140 maximum yeah. in pounds. Yeah. So what do you th if you're taking in all this extra water, what do you think to the idea that some people put things like sea salt into the, the water, small pinches, Okay. to help you need to absorb the water so that the body holds it better but also to replace if, what if they're you, losing through perspiration if, but there's, there's two two parts of that story as well if you are consuming six liters of seven liters of water a day then when you're and because you're sweating it out then you're losing an awful lot of body source within that six or seven liters of water um, so you ha you have to um, plan your, your yeah you have to add or allow certainly for um, mineral sources these are why these um, uh, you know, the Lucas A style or Power A style drinks do actually work they do help the body uh, another friend of mine um, in the uh, he's in the Royal Marines Royal uh, Captain in the Royal Marine Commanders was involved um, with a big um, a big test with, with, with his um, troop on the uh, on hydration through um, through their workouts through their training, and um, they tried various styles of drinks, whether whether, whether it's Powerade or Lucasade and stuff like that. And the ones that, that had the, the best pH balance for um, losing for, for, for regaining your fluids worked and improved on the on, on the people's backgrounds uh, on, on their training. So it's, it's definitely something that is important, something that it should be looked at very regularly, hydration and, and um, adding mineral sources to that. Um, but I mean the average person, if you're just trying to consume five litres of water a day, or three litres of water a day, you probably don't need the extra salts, you're getting it in within a, a good normal balanced diet. But if you're sweating out five or six litres of water a day, and you're, you're, you're needing to consume seven or eight litres to keep yourself buffed up with, with water, then you definitely, definitely need to add some salts into that. So, but when would you say really adding the salts? Pre-workout or post-workout? <laughs> Morning or before bed? Yeah, it's a difficult one. And again, it, it boats down to, to what you're consuming and when. If, if you're the average person that uh, you're working out, you, you probably don't need to add many, many salts to it. Um, if, you, if you have particularly high cardio based um, workouts um, and then and stuff, then I would say you need to have them during an electrolyte drink during your, your workout to top up your electrolytes. Um, but if you uh, are working, the, the average person, if you, for you, if you're not good sweating out and you're trying to consume just your three litres of water a day to keep yourself balanced, then um, your best bet is to um, try and keep. Um, a normal level of drink or fluids uh, without adding anything else. You'll find that your normal diet will, will bring in those mineral salts during the day. If you're working out, then again, just take an electrolyte drink with you um, for, 
for training. You, you need to have a, at a pinch of salt and a tiny pinch of potassium, or again, you can get your energy levels to a banana or something which is high in potassium. And, um, and benefit from it that way. So when we're talking salt, we're actually talking sea salt, not table you're, you're, salt. You're talking mineral salts. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you can a pinch of a, a pinch of table salt will do just as it's sodium you're trying to get into your body, and and, and table salt is sodium based anyway. Um, you can so you can you, if you have a pinch of a, a, a tub of, of um, table salt and a tub of low table salt. Use a pinch of one, half a pinch of the other to mix up a, a large amount of drink, um, and, that, and that will get you um, pretty much covered with what you need to be consuming. 